Uh, what is up everyone? Welcome back to some more Batman Arkham Asylum. In the last part, we had actually, um, we managed to get to Dr. Young uh, and defeat Zaz with one Batarang. I don't know how that worked, but when she went to open the safe or get close to the safe, Joker had actually rigged it or Harley Quinn had rigged it, one of the two, and put a bomb on it. And unfortunately, uh, Dr. Young is now dead. But yeah, let's continue on with detective mode and see where we can pick up the trail. I love this actual um, detective mode thing. So in the future Batman games, we do have it, but it just never flickers through any of like the filters anymore. I don't know. I always found this one bit. I mean, now I found it very, very unique. <laughs> Wait, there's actually a Riddler trophy here. Let's grab that. Oh, you found that one. Sorry, it wasn't much of a challenge. I was running out of time. I assume we probably just go through these doors. Before we do that, let's do an upgrade. Um, now, I did make a mistake in the last part. So I assume... It was at the last part, the last part before that. Uh, the last part. The, the part before that. Uh, I thought that this here, uh, the remote battle rank, was a new upgrade. We actually had that unlocked. It's a sonic battle rank, which is a new upgrade. Both are very useful. Mm, but I think I may go for sonic. What's this one? Upgrade to Sonic allows this to detonate once thrown overload suicide collar nearby henchmen. However, the residue interference will stop any Sonic battering from effect in this location. All right. Sweet. Uh, so I know we have to go through these doors here. I do want to say before the... Not the before. Um, wait, let me activate detection mode. Just check. Yeah, okay. We're on the right track. Um, we actually got a new gameplay from uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. It was new stealth gameplay. And oh, can I say that game looks so good. We also got a new cutscene uh, just before the part where um, uh, Miles Morales messes up uh, and fixing the whole situation with the Rhino being in the raft container. He accidentally gets caught onto one of the helis, uh, the blades. But the game just looks amazing in 4K. I am a bit skeptical of recording um, PS5 games because I do want... Actually, we'll get up here. I do want the game to look really, really good. Or I can record to the best of my ability. Issue is my PC does not have... Or my motherboard doesn't have a PCIe slot for a 4K graphics card. Let's use a Sonic Battering and see how it works. What, but these lots of patterns are just so weird. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Invert take down this fool. I'm gonna drop down. Wait, what? We drop oh, I forgot. You have to press A to drop down in this game. It's very weird. I'm at the door. Nothing here. We have to wait a long time for that to recharge. In future Batman games, you didn't have to. I'm gonna try something here. Probably not gonna work. Hopefully he didn't see us. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think we even need to take them out. We can probably um just get out of this. You know, I may do that. Actually, no, I want the XP from these guys. Fuck that. <laughs> it's just that the these enemies here, their patterns are very weird, like their movement. Where's the other two? Uh, they are down there, right? We also got more gameplay of, I believe, if you've seen Modern Warfare, or if you've played Modern Warfare, you know about finishers. There's a little cat mission too in Spider-Man Miles Morales, and he acts like a finisher for um, Miles. That's one. Where's the other one? And... <laughs> Straight to the skull. 
Oh wait, did this guy get? I don't know. Wait, hang on. Let me zoom in. Is it? Oh my days. Does he want it? I can't tell if his head is actually cracked open or his skull. And if he had to get that stitch or if that's just tattoos. Either way, that's that must hurt. <laughs> Actually, that's the wrong way. This is the way we came from. <laughs> My bad, fellas. My bad. Can we actually go through these doors? But we can't enter through. Okay, now we can. Alright, sweet. <laughs> I assume we just have to go outside where the gardens were. Or the botanical gardens. Illegal. What are we doing? We're walking. Are we technically running? Abandoned tunnel. Does Batman actually want it? There we go. He's acting a bit weird. To be fair, it actually may not be him. It may be the controller. My controller is a bit messed up. Joker sends his girlfriend down and tells us to guard the tunnel. We guard the tunnel. Joker tells us to kill the. Take the two guys out with the guns first, <laughs> and now mess with everyone else. Did you see that slowdown? Why is the game slowing down that much? The AX Pro is actually a pretty sick combo. Wait for it, and... Okay. <laughs> that boss fight with Zaz was actually very like, disappointing. I didn't expect him to go down that fast. With one battle rank too. Wait for it. There we go. Not so tough when we're not strapped down. Yeah. Why what? Why did Batman fly that way? That made no sense. <laughs> Gonna have to jump over this guy, wait for it. Yeet! And now punch him in the back. Oh, come on. How did the combo break there? That was a very stupid place of me trying to attempt a takedown. I pressed Y and X. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> and last guy. There we go. The game there didn't slow down at all. I don't know if it's just a PC thing, but I feel like every PC game, no matter how good your PC is, there's just slowdown. I don't know what it is. How much do you want to bet there's these doors? Okay, I assumed that they were locked, but they're not. Look at that slowdown. Arkham Asylum Penitentiary. Why is the game out of focus? Let me pause one sec. That didn't help her to... It seems like it's out of focus. I don't know why.
there's no way this lets us in. Oh, apparently it does somehow. Two people, one voice, no gun. What happened to this guy? I got knocked out. This place is very loud. I have a feeling, I don't know, this place just looks very familiar. You know in Arkham Origins? Do we ever come here as Batman? Or a younger version of Batman? There is that wall there if we can't access this door. And apparently we can. <laughs> the green mill. Or the green mile. Oh, that's poison ivy in front of us. Stop! Stop, Batman, please! You've got to help my babies! I'm really not interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. They're in pain, crying for help! Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. Poison oh, Ivy's character in general, too, and design is. It's a very interesting one. You know, she actually, if you don't know the backstory, I believe it's the same one too. It's, um, it was actually Batgirl's best friend. So Barbara Gordon's best friend. They went out on a mission, I think once, or just in general. They, I think they just went out and uh, her friend fell in some sort of, not solution, but I think it's a plant-based pollen. Something happened to her and that's how she turned out like this. To be fair, I kind of prefer her design like this over... Alchem Knight's design. I don't know why. Probably shouldn't have been zooming in there, but... <laughs> right. I don't know how these doors are actually letting us in. There we go. What's this called? Security control room. Please, help me. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's in here. Alright. Let's get up the staircase. the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. We are trapped in here. And the cryptographic sequencer. My man had it on him the whole time. A uh, cryptographic sequencer uses ultrasound frequencies to bypass security systems. Security protocols are broken using a 512-bit decryption key. Only Mr. Batman can afford the, such technology. Let's continue. There's always a way out. Always. I like that for Mr. Batman. And I like that. I wonder if it's the same in this game. Oh, it's a bit different. In future games, you used to match up the codes, I believe, and you stay I think that was it. <laughs> when I leave. Oh, good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands now, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so who is this? This guy here behind. Get me a 
out of here! You rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. Wait, what? Hang on. Then who is this guy above here? Oh wait, he's Clayface. Yeah, he's Clayface. Has to be. <laughs> Go on, transform again. Or do you have to turn around and watch? And you know what? I think we're going to call it an episode there. I know we haven't really achieved much in this episode, but I did want to make it kind of short, kind of sweet. But yeah, we've unlocked the cryptographic sequencer. Uh, we've actually encountered uh, Clayface. I actually never knew he was in this game. And Poison Ivy got released. Uh, I'm very debating about putting that cutscene in. I mean, but then again, I left The Last of Us cutscene too. You know what? We'll leave everything in. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more vids, walkthroughs and updates. And yeah, see you all next time. Peace out.